In this video, we're going to talk about desktop image staging in Nerdio Manager for WVD versions 2.9 and newer. So desktop images are extensively used in any WVD deployment, and especially one that is highly automated through the Nerdio Manager. Desktop images are kind of a critical component of the WVD management environment. And the most common way to update the existing WVD environment is by updating an image, packaging it up, and delivering it through a re-image operation to the existing session hosts within our host pools. Now, as a reminder, any host pool where autoscale is enabled will have an image configured as its template. So anytime there is burst capacity defined on a particular host pool, when that burst capacity is created as needed uh, by the scaling logic, that host is being created using the defined desktop image that's listed right here. Now, the situation can arise where you may be updating and managing your desktop images by making changes, maybe applying updates, installing new software, and setting that VM as an image. And that VM becomes immediately active and available to any host pools that have configurations that are pointing at this desktop image. And that may or may not be the desired behavior. If you don't want to necessarily test your image uh, in a staging environment before it goes into production, this is probably how you want things to be. You want to power on your image, make your changes, click on set as image, let it get packaged up, and then any new VMs that get provisioned or any re-image operations will immediately start using the new version of the image. However, in some uh, highly compliant environments where there must be a staging environment that all images need to go through and be fully tested before they're delivered to production, that current method that I just described could be a challenge which is why in Nerdio Manager for WVD version 2.9, we introduced the concept of image staging. The way image staging works is as follows. Whenever you set as image, which means you are committing the image changes that you've made to the VM to the image that, um, uh, th that, that exists. So when you click on set as image, you will see a new checkbox called stage new image as inactive. And if we click on the tooltip, it will explain exactly what this will do. And in short, this option will create the new image version without setting it as active, which means that any existing configurations such as auto scale or re-image schedules will continue using the current version of the image. To make the new version active, you will need to click on that activate staged image from the drop down action menu and only then it will become the active version so as long as you check this box the image version will be created from the changes that you've made to the image vm but that version of the image will not automatically be activated and what will happen is something like this so this image called field text we clicked on this VM and made changes to it and then clicked on set as image. And you can see now we have two versions. We have one that's active, it's version nine, and we have a staged inactive version, which is version 10. So any existing configurations pointing at this field text image are going to still continue using version nine. And then if I want to use version 10, I now have a new drop down option in my images list. So for instance, if I were to go into my auto scale and configuration, let's say right here, go to auto scale configure and under field text, I now have the option for a staged version, version nine versus version 10 with a newer date. So imagine the situation where you would have a production host pool that is pointing at the active version of the image and the staging host pool, which is pointing at the staged version of the image. Once you make changes to your image, you check the box to make the new version staged and that will become available to any staging host pools that will begin using that image right away. 
but your production host pools will continue using the current active version. Once you're satisfied that your image is functional, the new version, in this case, version 10 of the image is functional and is working as except, ex expected, you can then elevate it or activate the staged version and making the new active version. And the way that's done is simply by clicking on activate staged image. When you do that, you have the option to retain the current version, version nine as a backup. Um, or if you uncheck this option, it will actually delete that version and not retain it as a backup. And once you click OK, this will take the staged version that's inactive, make it active, and then take the current active version and either make it inactive if this is checked or delete it if this is unchecked. Once you do that with that single click, all existing production configurations start using the newly activated staged version, which in our example is version number 10. So this is a way that you can safely update your images, stage them, test them, and then activate them and make them available to your production environment. All of this can be done completely automatically. Your desktop packaging process could be a scheduled operation that happens on a regular basis. Your uh, staging host pools could have a set of users who are responsible for user acceptance testing who will receive the new image that's been packaged on a schedule through a scheduled re-image operation. And then once they confirm that everything is working fine and you click this activate staged image button on this menu, you will be able to deliver that image to any existing production host pools that also will have re-image operations that will pick up the newly activated version and deliver it to all of the host pools. Hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.